piece is untitled and begins with an epigraph. There must be some kind of way out of here, said the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. All along the watchtower, Jimi Hendrix. It saved my life, English literature, and I'm not even sure I knew it then. But when Tennyson spoke, he awoke some thing in me, and I could see heavy ink while I was sinking further into my chair, and the air seemed eerie, wearily reading along to the song of men, sweet music of tired eyelids upon tired eyes, and I realized that there is, in fact, confusion that is worse than death. Trouble on trouble, pain on pain, he was saying what I was feeling, silently reeling in this newly formed place, struggling to embrace the disgrace of not finding a way to say I'm okay and mean it. There is confusion that is worse than death. I know because it snatched my breath, sped up my heart, and part of my left eyebrow disappeared in 2009. Everything wasn't fine, and I trembled in my sleep. That was something she didn't keep from me. And while she is an important as written collection of words, she heard me groan and jerk while I, my mind worked, eyes closed tight, struggling with another fight, still at work in me. The charmed sunset lingered lower down in my red west, and it would come and go, the pain in my chest. I wanted to run and run and run to nowhere and stay there. Tis hard to settle order once again. Or remember when my insides didn't feel so bizarre, always wanted to drive myself to the ER, flying over 80, north on 280. I still think about dying when I'm crying on the inside, eyes wide shut, somewhat blind to the fact that depression is real and constant regression will steal your joy and destroy you from the inside out. I'm inside out. Worthy. I'm sitting in a room with five men I trust. Meaning, I'm sitting in a room with five men I'm supposed to trust. Supposed to trust meaning, I'm supposed to trust all men until proven unworthy. Proven unworthy meaning proven by other men and I'm still sitting in this room. These five men and I, three of them with liquor in their bellies, three of them meaning sobriety tastes better than mixed drinks with these men that I trust. Men that I trust meaning there are five of them and one of me, and I'm still sitting in this room. These five decide to watch a movie, and I hear, she still hasn't seen this. Let's watch this. Let's watch this meaning I am one of them for the moment, and they want to give this to me too. For the moment meaning I am allowed to forget to be prey. Allowed to forget meaning only for the moment. A man turns on the movie. And there are jokes about rape, and all these men laugh. These men laugh meaning I am reminded of my place here. These men laugh, meaning I am the joke here. These men laugh, meaning I am always the joke. These men laugh that I am allowed to forget for the moment. Let's watch this meaning men that I trust and their three liquor bellies are proven unworthy. And I remember, I am always prey here left to wonder who I'm supposed to trust. This poem is entitled Royalty, also known as Sisters. Elaborate ebony goddess, you are beyond amazing. As words flow freely from the corners of your being, as corners of my mind start racing, First sight of your elegance, bliss. Chocolate embraced the curves of your silhouette. My eyes locked on a chocolate frame and it remains flawless as ever. Lavender scented kisses embrace the air. 
and the sweet shades of your dark licorice now shine. Queen, allow me to enter your maze. I'd like to read the first passage of the Tao Te Ching in Chinese and then the translation and follow that my infusion. Dao, to speak it, is not the extraordinary Dao. Name, to name it, is not the extraordinary name. Absence is the beginning of heaven and earth. Presence is the mother of ten thousand things. Therefore be absent so as to behold the wonder of Tao. Be present so as to behold its boundary. These two emerge together with different names and together they are mysterious. Mystery upon mystery, the door to all wonders. Catching my breath. Invisible, like turbines spinning at fast speed. Nothing is seen, just the shrill, snarly sound of turbulence as it spirals its concentric circles into a vortex, gathering momentum faster and faster. Deafening, no earmuffs to muzzle the sound of takeoff to the distance. We spread ourselves thin over the years. The faceless quiet endured. The heart gathering weight like a wet, soggy towel, absorbing the water flow, keeping up appearances. Nothing visible, just like the clothes in the turbine washer. Invisible, rung around in circles till it is out of breath. The sound of speed, colorless. Sin idioma. Oops. Sin idioma. Cuando era niño, hablaba español con mis padres y con mi familia. Era muy contento y feliz. Pero cuando asistí a las escuelas, me forzaron a hablar el inglés. Y con el tiempo, se me forgot el Spanish. Con golpes y con vergüenza, yo he aprendido to speak English bien. Hasta el primer grado, no podía speak very good con mi abuelita y se enojaba mucho. Hasta el sexto, no sabía what language que estaba hablando. I was going to the tienda with my carnal. I was changing my calzones every day. My mamá was always wearing her chanclas. My teacher was a pinche way. I was always fighting with the babosos and I hated the gabachos. When my mamá was mad at us, me and my carnales were pendejos. My tías used to gasp when I told them how I went chingazos. Híjole, qué confusion. They confused me in school, cut me off linguistically from my family, made me stop speaking Spanish, and didn't teach me English. Now, I'm illiterate in two languages. The thing of beauty. My father could not give it away. The Stromberg Carlson when the tubes failed. The age of the console radio had passed, nor could he throw it away because the wood was so beautiful. He who had worked in a cabinet maker's shop as a young man loved the grain of, of hard woods with his eye and hand. So it was moved into my bedroom where it sat, a mahogany god no one heard. When I grew older, I hid books. Risqué, not pornographic, Thorne Smith, The Affairs of Bellamy, Guy de Maupassant, and the like, in among the tubes, my secret cave like the mine where the Lone Ranger cast his silver bullets. For my thirteenth birthday, my parents thought a reader like me could use a desk. 
So in the night they came and carried out the radio to put in the desk, my books fell on the floor like original sin. The beginning of my fourteenth year was not a happy one. My delights confiscated. As I walked about the house, I felt as if I had been exiled to an obscure but Lutheran Elba. I knew then I'd never fit into a desk job. Later, I found the books in my father's own secret cave, up in the ceiling boards of the basement. So I had another, though not public, lending library. Maybe the books were like the radio, something in them so beautiful my father could not throw them away. I'm beating up the street tonight. I slept through the natural light. But I'll do it if it feels all right. All right, all right. Ooh.